Greetings Gators and sports fans everywhere, and welcome to the 2019-2020 Donald A. Wilson Athlete of the Year presentation. The 2019-2020 school year has proven to be like no other. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought about sweeping changes that have kept our frontline workers and first responders working tirelessly. It has forced some of us to work from home and others to learn from home. To those working on the front lines, we thank you. For Wilson Athletics, the pandemic meant no spring season and no annual athletic banquet. Thankfully, we still have been able to work with our coaches and administrators to celebrate our student athletes. The closure of schools across our region and country will have a lasting impact on us all. Even when we return, things will be forever changed. Something that won't change is what makes a Gator Athlete of the Year. If you've been following our videos, you've seen all the team MVPs and the 30 nomic knees for our six annual awards. Now, let's take a look at the Rookie Athletes of the Year. The Rookie Female Athlete of the Year goes to a grade nine who has not only entered a new school, but has made herself an invaluable member of school sports. She is a leader on teams, often when competing against athletes who are much older than her, and definitely has a bright future as a Gator athlete. Here to introduce our Rookie Female Athlete of the Year are Madame Jean and Ms. Nichols. When you're starting up a new team, it's sometimes hard to get enough players. And when we started the field hockey team, we knew it was going to be challenging because it's a brand new sport. So we were really impressed by the girls who came out for the varsity girls field hockey team and with this was a huge group of grade nine girls and part of them was Catherine. Catherine was a standout in tryouts and we knew she was going to be an integral part of our defensive team but we really found out how important she was going to be to the team at our first tournament where she actually won tournament MVP for our team. She is a great leader and it's a pretty big deal to make a varsity team as a grade 9 student and then to gain the respect of grade 9s, 10s, 11s and 12s who are on the team. And Catherine did that no problem not only with her leadership skills but with her gameplay, her game smarts and her ability to pick up on the new skills needed for this sport. She also wants everyone around her to play better and to improve, and that makes her a valuable asset on any team. We look forward to seeing what the future holds for Catherine as a Donald A. Wilson Gator. After having coached Catherine during the field hockey season and seeing what she was capable of on the field, I was really excited to see what she was capable of on the ice. Catherine brought all the same qualities she displayed during field hockey to her game in hockey. Again, the girls team is varsity, but Catherine quickly was embraced by her teammates and won their trust. Catherine is extremely coachable and works hard to better every aspect of her game. She is a voice that you always hear, whether on the ice or from the bench. She makes the team better just by being a part of it. I know she will be an integral part of the team for years to come. Catherine is a great example of what a student athlete is. She works hard in all aspects, whether it's in the classroom, gymnasium, field, or rink. She's very mature, respectful, and motivated. I can't wait to watch her continue to grow over the next three years as a Gator. Congratulations, Catherine. Male Athlete of the Year goes to a young man who has exhibited sportsmanship and dedication to his craft. He's been a leader on his teams and rises to the occasion without ever being asked. Here to introduce our Male Rookie Athlete of the Year are Mr. Cunning and Mr. Langley. Determination, expertise, dominance, and maturity. These are the traits that all athletes should display. It's even more incredible when they're displayed by a rookie grade nine. Your rookie Male Athlete of the Year shows these traits in everything he does. When I first saw him in the fall, I couldn't help but notice his fresh hair, diamond earrings, and mad hops made him stand out from his teammates. The way he takes charge, leads by example, it's everything that every athlete should strive for. This is always evident on the court, regardless of what sport he's playing, 
when he's matching up against 18 year old opponents without fear. When he's using his charisma to help motivate his teammates. It's truly incredible when a rookie athlete quickly becomes your most trusted player. This student athlete is someone that I had the pleasure to get to know really well, and I'm honored for that. I know that myself, Coach Flynn, and Coach Langley look forward to coaching this athlete in the years to come. Congratulations, Devo Henry, the 2019-2020 Male Gator Rookie Athlete of the Year. Devo was a great addition to Gator Athletics this year as a starter on both the Junior Boys Volleyball Team and the Varsity Boys Basketball Team. Devo showed great initiative in both teams, trying to find ways to get better and always asking his coaches what are the things that he can do to be a better player. With volleyball, he showed that he could be a starter as an outside hitter. In basketball, he was also a starter in many cases as a point guard, which is a position that's not easy to do. He was also an all-star in one of our tournaments in Scarborough as a grade nine athlete competing against players three and four years older than himself. Congratulations, Devo. We look forward to having you as a Gator uh, in the upcoming years. A willingness to strive for excellence and push yourself to be your very best while elevating your teammates at the same time. What a great way to become Junior Male Athlete of the Year. Here to introduce our Junior Male Athlete of the Year is Mr. Flynn. This year, there were a number of very strong junior boy athletes. All of our nominees were great candidates for this award. But to earn the Junior Athlete of the Year Award, a nominee must demonstrate excellence both on and off the court, a balance sometimes difficult to achieve. Off the court, this year's winner maintained a 90 plus average throughout the year in all of his courses. He is the most respectful and responsible student I've ever dealt with at Wilson. And his teachers praise him for always maintaining constant communication throughout the semester. And his coaches often say that he is one of the best leaders at tournaments, making sure to keep his team under control and always prepared for the next match. On the court, he trained with the Junior Provincial Volleyball Team throughout the summer while also competing with his club team throughout the fall season. This season, this athlete was arguably the best all-around player in Lhasa and led his team to a hard-fought semi-final finish. His leadership ability was on full display as he led his almost all grade 9 team with positivity, encouragement, accountability, and charisma. After the volleyball season, he focused his attention on basketball and a new sport, badminton, where he applied his athletic ability to make an impact. It's rare to find such a talented athlete who is so humble and genuine in his accomplishments. So, as I said last year, we are lucky to have this athlete at Wilson. It's my pleasure to award the Junior Boys Athlete of the Year Award to Evan Deegan. Congratulations, Evan. With a year of experience under her belt, our Junior Female Athlete of the Year enters Grade 10 as a competitor, internally driven and motivated to go for the win. Here to introduce our Junior Female Athlete of the Year is Mr. Dion. Hey, what's up, Gators? Congratulations to all athletes on a, definitely an unprecedented year. Obviously, a, a very successful year as well. You know, we saw a lot of great showings, a lot of great uh, nominees for all the different Athlete of the Year awards. So well done to everybody. Um, I've been given the opportunity uh, and the honor of presenting the Junior Female Athlete of the Year. Of course, again, a very unprecedented year. However, Maria Sandor, you made the best of it in a very successful cross-country season. Maria finished in an impressive uh, fourth place overall and third individual to qualify for OFSA up in snowy Sudbury. This race was uh, at LASA, the LASA cross-country championships over at Dagenham. Uh, so up in Sudbury, it was at OFSA that she really impressed and had a 24th place finish in an incredibly uh, muddy condition uh, that many of the top runners couldn't seem to handle. Maria showed her true grit spirit in that race. So uh, with that said, I'm confident that Maria would have had an even more impressive track season past spring. Hopefully uh, she'll get the opportunity to demonstrate her hard work this summer uh, running with the club. I'm confident that Maria will also uh, in the years to come demonstrate some amazing uh, accomplishments uh, for, for the sport of track and field and cross country. I can see her going beyond uh, into post-secondary and hey, maybe we, we even see her on the TV one day uh, running in a race. 
So all the best, Maria. Congratulations. Becoming Senior Female Athlete of the Year is not a one sport, one season, or one year event. It is the culmination of four years of athletic excellence. Here to introduce our Senior Female Athlete of the Year are Ms. Hardy and Ms. Gill. Hey Gators, we're very excited to present you with this year's Senior Female Athlete of the Year. This honor roll athlete has made her mark since she first set foot at Wilson. She's obviously athletic. She's the best. Her athletic wards in the past speak for themselves. She's a quiet, confident, humble leader who motivates you just by being around her. Her work ethic and dedication was unmatched in the sport she played here at Wilson. She was respected and respectful with anyone she played with or for. We want to thank you for representing what all Gator athletes should aspire to be. You are the true definition of a senior female athlete. And we are so proud of you. We're really going to miss you. Congratulations, Nikia Saigo. The Senior Male Athlete of the Year category is filled with athletes who are champions in their own right. All who have dedicated four good years to Donald A. Wilson Athletics. Ultimately, I will leave it to Mr. Rushton and Mr. Scott to present to you your Senior Male Athlete of the Year. I'd like to congratulate Dan Savota with the honor of Male Athlete of the Year. I could talk a long time about this young man, but I'll only discuss three things. One, leadership. Dan's ability to lead is exceptional. As a role model, he carries himself with a high standard and that transfers to others. He expects greatness. He just does it. He doesn't expect anyone to do what he won't. He puts it on the line every time. Number two, his athleticism. Wow, is this kid an athlete. He can do anything. His football skills are top end and his rugby skills are even better. Queens is lucky to have him. And the third is his character. Being associated with Dan the last two years has given me the opportunity to see a great young man. He's not very loud. He's not always the center of attention but he is always noticed. He carries himself with integrity, humility, he respects others, and especially himself. He is genuine. With those traits, his future is limitless. In the words of Coach Scott, Dan is just the best at whatever he does. Enough said. Congratulations, Dan, you made Wilson proud. Hi, Dan, and everybody else out there watching this video. It's my uh, pleasure to congratulate Dan about the inevitability of uh, actually Winning. Since I first met him in uh, grade nine, it was just obvious. He was a leader. He came with a vivacious smile. He made everybody happy and everybody listened. Everybody in football when he was in grade nine just knew he had it. By the time we got to rugby, wow, we didn't realize how much he had it. Grade nine, grade 10, grade 11, going to school, balancing the other things he'd run off to do with Tim during practice always asking for permission but Dan again it's my pleasure I sit here there's no school but it was inevitable you were going to win this award you always worked as hard or harder than everybody you always stood at the front of the line and you made everybody else stand there with you the funny thing was you didn't even have to make the boys stand behind you you just said line up and they did as they were told you told people to run root roots in football they ran the roots you explained rugby much better than I and by the time we got to grade 11 and now grade 12, everybody just knew who was going to be our leader. It was just inevitable. So congratulations on winning. Congratulations on being you. Congratulations on everything. I wish you the best. I last talked to you, you were going to Queens. I hope your dreams come true. And I'm sure with your world of rugby, it really will happen. You're the best. You've always been the best and continue to be the same. And thanks and good luck in the future. the amazing representation that you did both at the LASA and the OFSA levels of what it means to be a Gator. I want to thank the coaching staff 
for all that they did this year. And to our nominees, our MVPs, and our Athletes of the Year, congratulations. You are all amazing. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to celebrate our winners with us. All of our Athletes of the Year are not only exceptional athletes and committed students, they are leaders. Leaders who demonstrate the importance of caring for each other, embracing differences, treating each other with respect, and celebrating the excellence and diversity that makes us all human. When I think about these leaders, all of our teams, and all of our Donald A. Wilson community, reflecting on the level of involvement that makes Donald A. Wilson Athletics great, I see a bright future. Again, thank you for joining us. Donald A. Wilson Athletics looks forward to welcoming you back in the fall, whatever that might bring. In the meantime, have a great summer and stay safe.